Oscar Foreman joins us here at uh, Fresh As's Cooking Kitchen in Kenny Street. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, doing very well. Welcome to the, the Hawks and welcome to Wollongong. Thank you. You enjoying your time so far? Yeah, love it. Yeah. Pretty good. Everyone's really friendly. Uh, pretty easy to fit in. Nice town. Yeah. What are you liking most about the Gong? How close everything is. You fill up petrol every three weeks. That's it. Easy, great. easy to get about. Your teammates as well, good blokes? Yeah, yeah, real good guys. Yeah, yeah. And you've been uh, obviously training pretty hard in the, in the pre-season. Did your first game uh, the other weekend against uh, the university. How was that? It was alright. It was a good first hit out. It wasn't too smooth of how we went through things. Um, obviously on Friday week when we play Sydney, that'll be a better test for us. Um, you know, going against another NBL club. But, uh, you know, it was good to get a first one out of the way against Hartford. And a little bit tough without your, your coach there on, on the end of the court? Yeah, definitely. I was uh, playing a bunch of different positions. I wasn't sure what I was doing. I was just in the end. I was just running around in circles, hoping, you know, Gordy wasn't going to watch the tape too clearly. But uh, yeah, I'm sure when he gets back to training, he'll have a few words for me. And you got the new point guard uh, on the way soon as well. Should be good to have a new person to the team. Yep, Irv comes in Friday, so it'll be interesting to see how he fits in with everyone. And I'm sure you know the the team's already set with the culture, so you know any new people just adapt to that, which you know was easy enough for me. So I'm sure he'll fit in fine. And this team's been together, you know, all last year as well. Uh, you would find out a few different characters. Who's the funniest guy so far, you think? Jacko surprised me. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a real quiet guy, like really quiet, and he just doesn't shut up at he, all, ever. He thinks he's a very funny man. You know, he had his own TV show last year on the website. I never watched it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I watched Triggers and gave up after the second episode, <laughs> but Jacko... Actually, I saw Jacko interview... Um, Zorro one time, then I just, after that it was done. Yeah, that was I it, gave yeah. Up, yeah. Yeah, I gave up way before that. Yeah. Dave Gruber behind you, who fancies himself as a bit of a master chef. How do you think he goes in the kitchen? Uh, well, I think we're starting with chicken risotto, and I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I, I, I don't think he had chicken. I don't think he's pulled out any chicken. I didn't so. know you could make chicken risotto with prawns, but anyway. <laughs> he's, he's American. Now, how do you go in the kitchen, mate, yourself? Oh, I, I try. Yeah. You know, I like to dabble a little bit, and you know, it, it's an interest. Doesn't mean I'm fantastic, but yeah, no, I'm what, interested in it. What's your best recipe? You've been living in New Zealand for a while. Sheep, just cooked up sheep, pretty <laughs> much. Just dice and chuck it on, done. Anything you do with sheep, yep. anyone in New Zealand's happy with, isn't it? Absolutely. Well done. Well, mate, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck with uh, your season with the Hawks, and we'll look forward to catching up later on. Thanks, mate. With Az from uh, Fresh As Food and Catering. How are you, mate? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, doing well. You enjoy your uh, afternoon with the boys? Yeah, it's good fun. Good fun. We might make chefs out of them yet. Now, I hear you're on uh, board for the season as the, uh, the caterer for the Wollongong AHM Hawks. Yeah, looking forward to it. Providing their uh, post-game meals and, uh, yeah, for their road trips too. We'll do a little, uh, little lunch bag for them for each road trip. What kind of stuff would you think about cooking up for the boys, do you think? Uh, uh, we're still in talks with Gordy and, uh, and a, a dietitian coming on board this year, but um, we'll do sort of... Big bulky stuff for the boys post game. They've sort of requested some pastas and uh, some quiches and things like that. So we'll mix it up uh, throughout the season, depending on some likes and dislikes. And do you think we'll get Groobs and uh, Oscar to help you out in the kitchen as well? Possibly. There's a bit of talent there. There's a bit of talent there. But uh, I think I'd have no stock left if I had them both working in the kitchen. Looks yeah. like it could all could get eaten pretty quickly. Yeah, they think they uh, can eat anything that they cook. Now, mate, can you tell us a little bit about your business? How long have you been running for? Uh, Fresh House Food and Catering. Um, we've been based now in Wollongong for about five years. Um, and predominantly a lot of our stuff is uh, in-home catering and private catering in boardrooms and homes. And uh, also includes some weddings and cocktail parties and things like that. And it keeps you pretty busy? Yeah, busy. Busy enough in a small town, but uh, we're always growing and always on the lookout for new clients. Now, is it just you that works here, or you got a, a few I've other people? I've got a staff, about a, a three, three other people help me out in the kitchen, as well as our casual waiters and uh, waitresses on the weekends. And how do we uh, locate you? Uh, well, you can locate me at uh, www.freshas.com. And uh, other than that, we're based in Kenny Street in Wollongong, number 97. And you're a local boy as well at heart. I heard you used to follow the Hawks when they played back at the Snake Pit. Yeah, I grew up uh, just around the corner from Beaton Park, so I was a long-time follower of the Hawks. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to uh, jumping back on the bandwagon, so to speak. It was a good, uh, good, good, good first year last year, and uh, hopefully they'll follow it up this year. And you probably would have seen uh, Matt Campbell and Glenn Savile run around at the same time as you were a little kid as well, wouldn't you? Very much so, mate. <laughs> Very much so. They've been around for a long time now. So uh, yeah, not sure. Who, who should feel older? Probably them, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, no, it's very good. Well, mate, glad to have you on board here at the Wollongong AHM Hawks. We look forward to catching up later. Thanks, Robbo. Cheers.